I love lipsticks. I have expensive lipsticks, inexpensive lipsticks, but because of the formulation, I always go back to Maybelline. So today I'm going to go over some of my favorite colors for my skin tone. So I would be considered a medium skin tone. My skin can vary from light medium to medium tan. I'm not able to use light colors like the true nude colors. I find that that washes me out too much. If I do choose a lighter lip color, I'm going to have to use some sort of lip liner to really define the borders of my lips. I don't have any lip injections. I don't overline my lips. This is just the natural shape of my lips. The first lipstick we're gonna talk about is this one right here. This is Chocolate Lust that's on my lips right now. This has a shine to it. I would describe this as a very warm tone color. Sometimes this color is a little bit on the lighter side for me. I'm not always able to use it. I have to use a lip liner. This one is by MAC. This is in Spice. I like the color of this. It's very close to my lip color. Spice as well as Whirl. I like that as well. So that's Spice and that is Chocolate Lust. And you see they come complement each other quite well. Anytime the lipsticks that I've chosen is a little bit on the light side, I will always use a good lip right. line. So the next color is Spicy Mauve, and I'm wearing it right now. This is probably the closest to pink that I would ever use. I'm not able to wear a lot of pinks, but the closest I can get is something like a mauve or even a rose, and I wouldn't even consider that pink. My undertones are very warm to neutral. This Spicy Mauve doesn't have have so much pink to it. It's a really pretty office appropriate color, perfect for daytime. This is mauve for me. Again, it's another one of those work appropriate, almost my lips but better color, and I really, really like it. So let me swatch it for you. But this is what it looks like. I think that if you have medium skin tone like I do, you're gonna really like this, especially if you just wanna instantly look it together and polished up. This is a nice, pretty color to wear, especially during the day, so mauve for me. Next up is Rum Riche. It's really nice. This is what it looks like. It's a little bit on the darker side, if you can see that. If you have a lot of pigment on your lips, this would actually work really well for you. I always feel so sophisticated when I wear a darker lip color like this. Next up is something a little bit different. This is the natural color of my lips. The only thing I have on here is just regular chapstick. My lips are getting a little bit raw from trying on so many lipsticks. It's naturally pigmented. This is spice for me. I saw this on one of my friends who is Indian. She tends to like really orangey brown lipstick and this is one of those. This is so pretty. You see here, it's brown but it's got a bit of an orange undertone to it. So there you go. I like to wear this especially during the fall when most of my makeup looks will be more towards the warmer tones. This is really pretty to go along with a very fall look. Next up is Maple Kiss. This is a darker color lipstick. It's a little bit on the brown side. So let's put it on. All right, this is Maple Kiss. And this is one of my favorite lip colors to take with me on vacation because it's very multi-purpose. You can wear it during the day, you can wear it at night, you can wear it as blush. If you happen to not bring one, I've tried it. You just kind of dot a little bit on your cheeks and just pat it out and it looks really pretty. So just make sure you set it with powder. All right, next is Touchable Taupe. Touchable Taupe is one of my most repurchased colors. I have at least three or four of these all over the place. This one is the least beat up up out of all of them. But this color is specifically a my lips but better color. These are my lips without any kind of lip product. There's a lot of unevenness in color and that's natural for any lip. You're gonna have some darker areas and some lighter areas. This color ties everything together, makes my natural lip color look more cohesive and I love it. So this is Touchable Taupe. It's pretty much my lip color and I really recommend it. All right, next up is Untainted Spice. This is a nice dark color. So pretty. You notice it's a nice deep dark brown color that is perfect for nighttime if you don't want to wear red. This is a really pretty color. I feel that this is nice and classy. It's really pretty. 
All right, next up is Crazy for Coffee. I feel that this is one of those that has a little bit mauve tone to it, but definitely it falls within the browns family, but it has a lot more mauve color to it in comparison to the previous lip color I just swatched, which was Untainted Spice, which is a lot more brown. This has a little bit more, I would say, mauve to it. So let's put this on. All right, so this is Crazy for Coffee. The next one up is from the Green Edition. This is a buttercream lipstick. This color is in Glacier. This is a lighter mauve, kind of pinky mauve color. And you notice on my lips, it's a little bit too light. I purposely didn't put on a lip liner because I wanted you to see what it looks like for somebody who has medium toned skin. I know that sometimes the camera doesn't do it justice, but it actually washes me out a little bit. I will usually apply a lip liner. I can apply something like this. This is in Spice. I feel that by lining my lips, I'm able to wear a lighter color but everything that I've shown you I purchased through Amazon and I can link all of that in the description down below these are my favorite Maybelline lipsticks throw on a really pretty color on your lips and immediately you feel like a million bucks at least I do <laughs> thank you so much for watching I appreciate you guys so much be kind to yourself and everybody around you and remember that the energy that you send out always comes back to you be positive stay positive and be great I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.